This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com in review. What I'm looking at today is Babak Anvari's Wounds. This actually appeared on Hulu, but if, if you look at the poster, this was originally headed to Netflix, and it, for whatever reason, didn't end up there, instead appearing on Hulu. And I'm glad I saw this movie, because it's interesting. It's actually in the vein of Jacob's Ladder, crossed with a little bit of J-horror. It revolves around a guy named Will, played by Army Hammer, and he works as a bartender. And the thing is, he is, not to insult bartenders, but he is somewhat overqualified for what he does. And his life is an aimless one. It's not a bad life by any stretch, but he is destined for something. He doesn't know what it is himself, and he just drifts through life, doing things that pay the bills and not caring about much else. But destiny has a plan for him, and it starts with these teenagers who come to his bar, and they leave a camera. Well, there's, I should mention, there's a bar fight, and they left in a hurry, and one of them left their camera and he finds some really disturbing photos on the camera. And from there, his life spirals into this weird place. And these are where the comparisons to Jacob's Ladder comes in. He's often followed by these teens, these young people. He doesn't know why, but they seem to be after the phone. And it, it, it's actually, of kind of a curse involved with this movie as well. It doesn't spell any of this out though, and that's what's kind of fascinating about it. It's got some really intense moments, but it's not overtly gory or violent. But the way Hammer's life spins out of control, excuse me, I should say the way Will's life spins out of control and how he seeks his answer to bringing it back in line is fascinating. I've never heard of Babak Anvari before Wounds, but this is a really good movie. And again, it's more psychological horror. There are elements of violence to it, but there are not many of them at all. So if gore is your thing, this is not the movie you want to watch. But that's not to say there isn't gore. It's only that it doesn't put gore forward. It's more on the psychological aspect. And the gore that exists, you have to kind of look for. If you watch this movie, you'll see what I mean. And in fact, I had to watch this twice to really feel for what a director was going with it. But once I found out, I enjoyed it immensely. It's very cerebral. I don't want to use that term. I it's somewhat elitist, perhaps. But it requires a lot of thought. And the ending is wow. And the thing about that ending, you have to watch it at least twice. Because the first time, I honestly didn't see it. It's a, you'll see what I mean if you watch it. But it's very subtle and understated. But you see it the second time is where there's a lot of things happening with it. It's really fascinating. Wounds appears on Hulu. I don't want to tell you a lot about it, except that if you like mainly psychological horror with some gory overtones, but on a whole psychological, check out Wounds. You will have a good time. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. Peace.